Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing another MMO video. This time we're doing something different. We're doing a head-to-head -head matchup of Blade and Soul and Black Desert Online. Both these videos bring a refreshing change to the MMO genre with its own unique playstyle. So a lot of you guys have been asking kind of which of these games is better, what's so special about each of the games, uh, especially on, on our Discord. So for that reason, I wanted to make this video to kind of highlight the differences of Bleeding Soul and Black Desert and kind of highlight what are the new features that it's bringing to the MMO genre. Though comparing these two games to each other is like comparing apples to oranges, there is still a overall difference that I can make and hopefully point you towards a game that you like playing. Um, even though they're apples and oranges, they're still the same fruit, they're still a fruit, right? So I can make a comparison and say, you know, based on these analysis, this game is more enjoyable if you like this, if, and this game is more enjoyable if you like that. So let's get started as to my analysis of both these games. So to compare the two games, we're going to look at a couple aspects of an MMO. First, we're going to look at the graphics and immersion, um, then the gameplay, which includes crafting, skills, endgame, and finally the conclusion. So the first one we're going to look at is the graphics. The graphics in Black Desert Online is fantastic and it's unparalleled in a MMO. It is as if you're playing a single player triple a game like the witcher or fallout 4. another aspect of bdo's graphics is that it, it contributes to the immersion within the game you feel as if you're living within the game you, you see npcs move around those are uh, merchants you can back up into a bench and sit down very organically it doesn't really there's no pop-up that comes up you can look you can cut trees <laughs> um that you know actually behave the way you want you can actually hide in these trees if you crouch you'll be hidden from the from and from enemies and so for that reason i really enjoy the graphics and how immersive it is in bdo blade and souls graphics is very unique it's not very realistic as black desert online's is but it does have its own unique flavor, which is that it's more of a almost plastic e feel. Like there's very shiny, very anime-like, where the skin is very shiny and glowy almost. I want to add a kind of an extra video at the end here for the graphic section to talk about the character creator for Black Desert. This is one of the best character creators that I've seen ever, and that says a lot. The amount of customizability options that you have is beyond mind-boggling. Uh, you can you can kind of pick every single aspect of your character: your hair length, your cheekbone length. In addition to cheekbone, like the under cheekbone length, everything you can see here. All those lines that you see are customizable aspects, and that is again I've never seen this in an MMO. Where usually you kind of get an option to, okay, here's the face, here's the, you know, here's some length and width, uh, you know, scale. But never in this aspect where you can, you can kind of customize every single tiny minute details of your character. So now let's segue into gameplay and first up is crafting and from Black Desert skill standpoint rather the crafting in Black Desert is very unique it's essentially you have these workers that you kind of hire and the workers does the crafting for you 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 purchase a house and you convert these houses into certain crafting stations and workers will go out of, out of their way gather for you craft for you and there's a time frame that kind of that takes for them to do all this stuff but generally speaking you can level up your workers so they craft more, so they can crit on those crafts more, etc, etc. And this is really awesome because that means you don't really have to sit, spend time crafting, right? right? You can just go out there and explore the world, grind, do whatever you want to do. And your workers and your peons can, will kind of go out there and craft for you while, while you just sit back and enjoy all, all the game. 
In addition to this crafting system, there's a great supplementary system of trading in Black Desert where you can kind of go from one town that you crafted certain items from and then go all the way across the map and trade it in a different city or a town for money and the, the longer you travel or the, the longer distance rather that you travel you get more money out of it um, but you know if more people are doing that route the, the reward price goes down there's a great economy built around the whole trading and crafting system in addition to that there's a wonderful um, pet mount uh, trading system in this game where you essentially you can breed your mounts yes so you can take a uh, you know a, a female mount and a, a male mount and then breed them and then get a you know get another mount out of it and then sell that mount and the reason this is very important is you can actually level up your mount as the mount levels up you get be better uh, speed better endurance etc and then so you can take a high level mount and a you know two two high level mounts breed them get another high level mount and then sell that in the marketplace so that's again a really cool unique feature that i haven't really seen in any other mmo now blade and soul is a little bit different from black desert online and i per personally i don't like blade and soul system so what blade and soul does is very similar in terms of what it is where you can you have somebody else that does the work for you you hire a guild to gather and craft for you in this game you can get two crafting professions and two gathering professions and unlike black desert online where you can have all your workers you know go out and get multiple instances of the same you know same resource in blade and soul you can only get one at a time as you can see from here if i want to get uh you know logs i can only get one type of log if i want to get a sap i have to wait for my logs to be completed before i can get the sap if i want to craft you know uh this a soul shard and multiple of that i had to wait for the first one to complete before i start the other one and because of this it has an artificial kind of time barrier in the game that i personally really don't like um you know it, it does have a bonus where you can you don't have to spend a dedicated amount of time to craft but i would much rather have a dedicated time to craft if I can gather and craft as much as I want. In this game, you have to wait for the timer to go down. So now let's talk about the skills. Uh, Black Desert Online skill system is a really, really unique skill system where it's essentially key combinations that dictate your skill uh, what that means is essentially for example if you hit shift and click you'll do one skill if you do shift a and click you'll do another skill so all these combinations are what determines what what skill you cast um, there is a certain skills that you can kind of hop uh, hop bar in and certain skills that you have to hop bar in uh, that you can use you know one two three four to kind of cast but generally speaking your skills are done by some sort of skill combination. Blade and Soul, on the other hand, has a you know your traditional key binds one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. But the difference with Blade and Soul's key combinations and skills is that it's contextual. And what that mean mean by that is essentially uh, if you're close to the target your key sets are going to be different from if you're further away from the target if your target's done your key sets are going to be different in addition to that it's a very fighting game like system where each of your skills combos very very well with other skills and what it ends up happening it's a very millisecond skill combos you can kind of juggle people in the air etc so it, it, it's a really unique system for blade and soul in my opinion, I have to give the skill list to uh, Blade and Soul because one in Black Desert you cannot, um, you know, keybind uh, your skills, and uh, in in Blade and Soul you can keybind. So if you have a Razor Naga, for example, you can have one, two, three, four uh, bounded. And more importantly, in Blade and Soul's skill system seems more dynamic and more action packed than Black Desert Online. Now let's talk about Endgame. Unfortunately for Black Desert Online, 
there is a non-existent end game in that game. And what I mean by that is, yes, there's a couple bosses that you can spawn um, with a guild. There's a couple world bosses that a guild can spawn. And there's a couple bosses that you can spawn from dailies. And there's, I think, to my best of my knowledge, there's one world boss that spawns independently of those. But other than that, there really isn't much to do. If you want to do an instance, there is no instances in this game. If you want to do some sort of uh, battlegrounds, at least the version that I played in Korea doesn't have any battlegrounds. So in this game, there's really not much to do once you hit level cap other than doing your dailies. Blade and Soul, on the other hand, has a fantastic end game compared to Black Desert Online. Now, it's probably not going to be in the same... Uh, level as let's say World of Warcraft is because it has a lot of content in World of Warcraft but compared to Black Desert Online it's outshines it by leagues it has your four man content for you know group of four people it has your six man content for those of you that want to get a little bit more challenging it has your you know your two man content for a quick in and out kind of uh, instance and finally has your I think your eight man content and your 24 man content for those of you that want to do more challenging content and for those of us that like to pvp blatant souls pvp is absolutely fantastic it's untouched in recent mmos the, the closest i think i can get to is guild wars 1 way back then where you know you had your skill based pvp in blatant soul it's very fighting game like so it's not like oh he was better than me because of his gear or because of some you know offset it's all about skills combinations kind of being able to react really quickly it's very exciting to play so for those of us that want to do pvp myself included it's a fantastic end game especially because it's not going to cost you anything it's not a pay to win game where you have to spend a thousand and thousands of dollars to be competitive in pvp when you're in the pvp arenas Everything is kind of standardized and it's all about skill. So I kind of talked about all the aspects that are important to me uh, at, at, and I think important to a lot of people. Graphics, immersion, gameplay, crafting skills, end game. So which of these two games would I say the winner is? And to me, I'm going to have to give the victory to Blade and Soul Online. And the reason I give it to Blade and Soul Online over Black Desert is this. Black Desert to me is kind of the specialized ice cream shop. It has fantastic ice cream. It's probably the best ice cream shop in the world. It has great flavor. But at the end of the day, it is an ice cream shop. Can you see yourself eating ice cream for the rest of your life? Now, some people that are really, really big ice cream fans might say, yes, yes, I can. But for the majority of us that want more, you know, diversity in our games, ice cream's not going to cut it. And what, what I mean by that is a lot of the things that Black Desert Online does really well, the crafting, the mounts, the trading, to me, this is not what makes an MMO. An MMO is I, unfortunately based on your end game, what you can do after you reach level cap and that's where blade and soul comes shining through because it has pvp it has your end game instances it has your guild versus guild it has open world pvp that actually matters it has all these things that outshines if black desert online is your ice cream shop blade and soul is your three star restaurant you know it's not going to have the best of you know best ice cream in the world it's not gonna have the best steak in the world it's not gonna have the best well whatever other entree that you can think of in the world but it does do these things really really well well enough that if you were to play it if you were to go to this restaurant and eat you can see yourself and says yes i could eat my eat this stuff for the rest of my life yes it's not going to be the best but it does does it really really well So, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please do like it and comment and subscribe. If you think I completely missed it and that Black Desert Online is infinitely better than Blade and Soul, let me know why in the comment section below.